What's up guys, how are you that day now? Welcome back, this is your boy Gia Adams Link. I hope you're on a day, okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Well guys, uh, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, try as much as possible to subscribe because we look after our subscribers. And then for those of you who have won the giveaway, don't worry, the giveaway will be coming, starting from today till tomorrow. So don't worry guys, just drop your account number and then you're going to receive your alert really, really, really soon. I see a lot of your comments. You guys, so whenever you want to comment, you start asking for giveaway. And how do you qualify for giveaway? Hmm? It's a raffle draw. How do you qualify for the raffle draw? Comment and always invite people. That's all. Comment, like, and always invite your friends. That's all. That's how you qualify for the giveaway. Nothing else. You don't pay money. It's a raffle draw, guys. And you're going to get the money really, really soon. So... We, we, and we do this every month. So that being said, let's check out some crazy stuff that are happening currently on the internet. And I want to bring to you this woman first. You will not imagine what this woman did. According to what she said, I dated a guy in 2021 who was kind and had a good heart, but always broke. Can a guy be kind that have a good heart but broke? Can a guy in this recent world be kind without giving a girl money? Because girl quantify kindness by the way the guy spend on them. So she continues, she said, Unsure of how to hand things, I faked my own death by testing him as my cousin and telling him, only family could attend my funeral due to regulations. After blocking him, I monitored his post from a fake account and I saw he was devastated. Luckily, he had no mutual friends. So, my active, provi my active profile reminded, remained hidden. Now that he's doing well and has a great job, I want to reconnect, but don't know how, since he thinks I'm dead. Help me because I love this man. You left a man because he was broke. You had to fake your own debt just to leave a man because he was broke. And now he's doing well. You say you want to now alive yourself. You want to bring yourself back to life. To show this man that, see, I am alive. And the man will jump, hey, oh, I missed you. I thought you were dead. Oh, how did you come back to life? Some girls say they are very, very unserious. They are very, very unreasonable. You want to life yourself. Fake news because you want to break up with someone. And now the person has money. You are coming back. You want to come back to that person. Man, lady, you are a ghost. God made you live that man's life because you were the woman that was drawing him back. You were his obstacle from achieving greater height. God removed you by making you remove yourself. And now you want to go back to that kind of man so that you will bring him down again with your negative, uh, negative chi, with your negative spirit. Come on, man. If that guy takes you back, eh, I will advise you, just move on with your life. Eh? You are already dead to that guy. You are a ghost. Don't frighten that guy's life. Don't allow him to see a ghost. Just move on like a ghost and move on to your other ghost. That is what I want. I'm going to advise the woman to do. And let's talk about uh, Tanzania Slay Queen Vera Sindika. Vera Sindika was in Jamaica recently and uh, she was about to party. As she was about to step into the party ground, you know, there's this security check. Unfortunately, her head was able to pass the security check, the barricade of the security check. Her head was able to pass, her hand was able to pass, but guess what? Anyash no pass. Anyash no pass. The Nyash was just too big. The Nyash said, oh, I cannot move further. 
I cannot go further. I can't go further. Yes. Vera Syndica. Go and check the Telegram profile to see a picture that I posted here and some videos. Anyash couldn't pass the security. Or check her Instagram and some other social media play, uh, pages. Just search Vera Syndica. Of course, you're going to see them there. And my Telegram is Adam's Link Media Channel. Just request, I'm going to add you to the Telegram. Anyash no fee pass. Africa is blessed. And Africa is also blessed by men who appreciate such things. That's why whenever we African men they talk about baby nyash, eh? don't blame us. Don't blame us. It's how God has made us to be. It's how God has exposed our eyes. That's the only thing we see. That's why God created such nyash. But if Vera Syndica nyash na fake nyash, eh? that makes you go through here for one side. That's not the kind of nyash we like to praise over here. We don't praise such nyashes here. We praise good, fine, natural nyash over here. Not fake, fake nyash. But the girl nyash said so. Me are no lie. The nyash is big. It's set. It's uh, pompous. It's pompous. Large. Large, yes, large. Yes, yeah, the is large. Oh, God. So, moving forward, guys, let's talk about this uh, guy, Ilya Mox. That's just a bad side story. I think Ilya Mox needs to be extremely careful because we will all agree that Ilya Mox is, is tempering with country's political life. Understand? We see Elon Musk tweeting recklessly. I know it's his fundamental human right to, you know, to still talk, but as long as it's a very huge figure, I think we should be careful with the way he interact and talk about some certain political issues. Now, the UK government are considering arresting Elon Musk for interfering with their politics, interfering with their politics and their way of life. In this uh, protest that they are currently going through, protest about fighting each other and the rest. Mm -hmm. The protest in the UK, uh, anti-immigration protest. So now the UK government are considering arresting Ilya Mox. So you might see tomorrow headline, UK government arrest Ilya Mox. Yes, yeah, so I think that might even be my headline. Say. UK government arrest Ilya Mox because very soon, if he, if he do not stop, Mainly in countries' affair, in countries' uh, political affair, they might get him arrested one day, one day. I'm very sure about that. One country, you might travel to a country and not be able to fly back as soon as possible because he was arrested for something. And he talks too much on people's, on countries' political party. Just imagine what he did in uh, uh, Venezuela. I'm not saying Venezuela president was the best, though. But he actually comes, and the way politicians uh, feel like he's talking too much, uh, the same way many citizens uh, love the way Elon Musk is talking. Because not every rich person has the time to think about some politics and how the politicians are enslaving their citizens. There are so many big men, they just come to do their business, exploit, and go away, which Elon Musk could easily do. But he is so concerned about humanity and about the political uh, things that are happening on the ground. Well, but then again, I see him between Israel and Palestine. I see what he's doing there. I don't understand him. But that being said, I don't want to really dive into that uh, discussion. But let me know. Do you appreciate Elon Musk interfering in countries' political life? Whenever there's protest, Venezuela he was really, really into Venezuela. The president had to even come outside to say, Elon Musk, I'm ready to fight. Let us fight. Ah. Well, guys, uh, that is just how it is for now. Let me know exactly how you feel about that Elon Musk interfering. Because one day, one day, Elon Musk might bite the finger that he couldn't chew. And he might get himself in a really deep trouble as bad as getting arrested. And even as bad as getting jailed for what 
is doing. But in Silo Moss, though, our trouble is not like his kind of trouble. So our fear is not like his kind of fear. So there are certain level of fear. And we am afraid, but he himself, I don't even know what he's feeling. He's not even thinking the, the way that we think because of the so much money. Thank you guys for watching your boy again. I'm Slim. Catch you next time. Peace.